everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and this is Decidedly Vanilla. Now we are running around here like a crazy pig in the nether, because I have got a new task that I want to accomplish. This portal right here, this portal is going to make its way over to the Megataiga biome that we've been working on. Now what I've been having to do is run down to the end of that tunnel, turn left, Go, go another length about this far, twice as far. And then over there will be a, uh, a portal like this that goes to the end. From there I get on a minecart and I ride that minecart all the way back to the station. So it's a little bit of a pain. I didn't want to... Oh, come here, Blocks. You come with me. You gotta get built. No? There we go. Pop that right there. I wanted to have my own dedicated minecart that would take me all the way over here because right now we're having to do a transfer. <laughs> you ever have like a, a plane where you have to like or a train or a, or a bus where you take it to one station then you get off and you lug off all your luggage and everything and you sit down and you wait for X number of minutes or you're running as fast as you can to try and get to the next station. And then you get on that device and you take it, you know, like three or four different hops on different flights or whatnot to get to one destination. Well, that's what it feels like getting over to my little area. I've got to take a minecart to a portal and then get off at that destination and then walk a long distance to get over here. So I'm thinking about making my own track. So what I did was I dug a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. That's how the song goes, right? Oh man, my inventory was full. I left all this stuff behind. Go ahead and pick it up. I don't know when I'm going to need netherrack, but you know the way how it goes in this game. If you don't collect all the materials when you don't need them, you won't have them when you do need them. But anyway, that goes a couple of hundred blocks that way, and then it turns left, and it goes about three or 400 blocks in that general direction to get to the station. Now, at first, I kind of kicked around the idea of making this diagonal because that's going to give us the quickest route to go from this portal to that portal. A, a you know, instead of a, you know, like a triangle, let's go draw a triangle, shall we? For those of you who don't know. All right, Peggy, you're losing your momentum. Half the audience is now tuning out because you've gone on to geometry <laughs> and falling down into holes. Let's jump over here. I think it's still daytime. We're going to find out. Now, I will not be held responsible for anything in this video that looks completely out of place, even though I should be held responsible because it's going to be my fault. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's going to be a big enough triangle to completely uh, make my point. You watch. Watch it be the exact same. <laughs> that and that. And then we'll have to do one right here. But yeah, I'm totally filming this out of order. And if you notice, I don't have shaders on because most of this episode is going to be in the nether. I didn't want to um, um, have shaders messing with. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so in a small enough triangle, it's, it's equidistant. Whichever way. Well, no, actually it's not. Look. Okay, this is proving my point. So we would go six this way, and then we would travel five this way. So that's 11 blocks to go from point A to point B. Or we can go almost half the distance by going diagonal. So there, that makes my point. That's exactly the point I was trying to make. So I, I, at first, I'm like, you know, the quickest way to go from here to uh, Sea Haven or just to the Nether Hub would be a diagonal. But... I wanted to make a really cool little effect with the tunnel that we're going to do. So I decided to go ahead and make it straight. I'm like, you know what? No big deal. It's only a couple hundred extra blocks. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to be sitting in a minecart. And if it's really that big of a deal, I could hop in the minecart and then in real life walk off and go do something else. And then come back in a moment or so and my character would be where it needs to be. So what I'm going to get to doing is going into the nether and I'm going to start carving out a huge tunnel. I'm going to be a boring machine. I'm not boring. I hope I'm not boring. If I am, leave a comment in the section below. Piggy, kick it up a notch, buddy. You're boring. 
<laughs> I can take it. I got thick pig skin. Go for it. But I figured if Elon Musk can make a boring company, so can a pig, right? So I'm going to go into the nether, and I'm going to start boring a giant tunnel through the nether so that we can get ourselves a final proper minecart system to go from uh, nether hub central out to here. So cue the music. Music, you start a play. Thank you very much. And we are going to get to boring. Man, oh man, it is finally, finally finished. Now, I know for you, you watched a time lapse, and you're like, Piggy, that was like a minute or two. What are you talking about finally finished? Well, I have actually spent a month and a half working on this project. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I have worked on it for a month and a half. Yes, I have. <laughs> and in that time, I've lost three diamond pickaxes, three diamond axes, and an entire set of diamond armor. I either was digging through fast and found an open spot and just fell to my death in lava, or I opened up a side of a wall and lava came pouring in and I couldn't get away fast enough. It just, it was a catastrophe. I've gone through so many diamonds, it's crazy. But let's go in here, because I'm making a lot of noise and I'm not really showing you anything. Now, in the, the time lapse, you'll notice that I had this line of birch uh, wood like the whole tunnel was made of spruce like this wood and then I had this one line of birch that was going look at that this is crazy just you wait <laughs> so I've actually like redesigned this tunnel two or three different times I, I th there's two segments there's this and then it turns left and goes that way so this segment right here I've actually built and torn down the, the wood part three different times so that I could get the right pattern that I wanted. I wanted this cool corkscrew pattern. And if you notice, this line goes right here, like that. And there's a line behind it. So there's actually two corkscrew patterns going through here. And the lines never actually crisscross. They're, they're separate from each other. But at first when I had this, I wrote on the rails. And I thought it looked really cool. But the problem was, you can see the rail. You can, where you're standing, you can see it. I'll show you from up here. We'll show you this perspective. So as you're riding along, you see this line. So I added these two lines on the left and right, and it kind of helps with the, the tunnel vision that you get. You've got a straight line here. You've got two straight lines here. I thought about maybe putting a straight line here, but I decided not because you've got these two flanking you, this one at the bottom. 
and I wanted the corkscrew pattern to still kind of show up a little bit. So I went ahead and left that. But I, I have not even shown you the coolest part of this, this setup yet. So let's do this. We're going to hop in here. Whoop. There we go. Take off. Now I'm going to push F1 to get rid of my overlay. Just like that. And there we go. And you can get a little look at this. Now while we're going, I'll kind of explain. So where we're leaving is going to eventually need to get transformed into some kind of a little uh, station setup. Some kind of a station so that um, it'll be the opposite end of what's over near Sea Haven Portal. Which is basically you've got a way to collect uh, minecarts and store them. And a user can push a button and access them and make their way back. So when we get right here, I'll, I'm going to hop out and show you this. Because we're going to take these, we're going to take these rails one more time. Because there's one more cool feature that you're not even noticing yet. Come here, minecart. No. Oh no, did it fall? Oh, I have it. I have it. Okay. <laughs> That's the thing. This thing is all half slab, so it's made in such a way that zombie pigs won't spawn in here, ghasts won't spawn in here. So this is all spawn proof, but you don't want to jump down because there's no way to get back up. Not without tearing out the walls or using some blocks to stack up and then you got to tear those blocks down. But what I did, and this kind of it does it on the floor, you'll never actually see it, but I did it anyway, just, just because. But you've got the lines terminate right here. It's terminating right here. Um, you've got the corkscrew comes through here and it makes its way to the top and then it just goes straight and right to here. And it does the same thing on the bottom. It comes to right there. And then we round this corner. More tunnel. What? <laughs> it's the tunnel that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. So let's hop right here. We'll take this and go like that. Now, also what I haven't done is I haven't timed it. So once I've made this video, I'm going to go back and look at how long does it actually take to uh, take this little minecart system. Because I know there's a couple different ways that are faster, but we've got the minecart system set up. I can, oh, there went pixel rifts. Hey, buddy, you have a good day there, sir. Yeah, there's a little bit of remnant mess left over. Those haven't despawned, and I'm just not in the mood to jump down there and collect them. So they, they is what they is. They're just going to be down there until they, till they, five minutes later, they're gone. Um, but, um, yeah, I can like hop in the minecart and let my character make its way over there and I can go do something for a moment. So that's not too big of a deal. This is such a step up from what we had, which is running through the nether, constantly getting hungry. And I need to go check on the carrot store, don't I? We need to go see what's up with the carrot store. But you ride down through here. This is so cool. We're finally tied into the system. I love it. And if I'm not mistaken, there's several other people on the server that have kind of done the same thing. They have gone through and started setting up their tunnels as well. So everything's finally going to be interconnected. But let's go run over to Sea Haven real quick. I want to check out how the carrot store is doing. Make sure that we've got enough stock. Make sure that we're uh, getting paid. Make sure that all of our gold supplies are still still supplied <laughs> and all that good stuff. And I know this might be getting a little boring for you, but trust me, stick around because like the coolest part of that tunnel, I'm going to show you in just a second. So let's hope. Is it still bad weather? Yes, it is. It's still raining and pouring. I don't hear an old man snoring. And that balloon, that balloon's got to get fixed. We got to we gotta deal with Mr. Zloy. Hopefully, uh, Mr. Uh, Mythical Sausage will get our message and he can help us out with that. But let's see here. So some of these are missing. Some of those are gone. That's good. Now, I hear noise. I don't think I lit up underneath the store. So we might have a little bit of a problem going on underneath the store. Do we? Yeah, we do. Oh, man, and he's got a dirt block. No wonder he's not despawning. Come here, you. I know you're wanting to help redecorate, but but we just can't have that. So, ooh, nice. We sold a little bit more stack of carrots. That is awesome. And let's see. <laughs> so some of y'all last episode were probably like, Piggy, you're leaving all the gold down here. What's going on? Mm-hmm. I left this secret little note just in case Zaloy saw the video and decided to sneak down there. Apparently, he either hasn't found that note yet, or he left it 
to try and act like he didn't find the note. Either way, mm-hmm, you thought Piggy was messing up. Nope, nope. It was, uh, I was trying to frame a, a dirty pirate. That's what I was doing. <laughs> but let's go ahead and run down here. We're going to go back in here, and I'm going to show you the final, the final, uh-oh, look at that. Good grief. The intro music was beautiful, says R. Gost Abernacki. He has photobombed the episode. Look at that. <laughs> Let's make that go away. Oh, uh, So look at that, sir. You got yourself a nice little shout out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hop down here. Just a little drop. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Let's see. It's right over here. We're going to push this button. And I tell you what, I'm going to give me one second. I'm going to fix this where we don't get photobombed again. Get rid of that right there. There we go. See, whenever I leave my uh, my internet browser open, sometimes YouTube sends me uh, links, or not links, but uh, comments. I never noticed a note block was right there. It didn't make a sound. Hmm. Either that or that's what the click sound was. So let's go over here and do this. But yeah, sometimes um, YouTube will send me notifications that people have sent messages on videos. And I try to shut that off just so we don't get photobomb. But somebody snuck in. He got himself a little photobomb. So let's go. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Don't. You're messing up. No. Oh, no. Come here. <laughs> The only reason I'm worried about that is because it is going to get stuck right here and it will send us back. So you come with me. There we go. That'll work. We got ourselves a minecart that we can control. So let me get back over here. This is very important. Trust me. It's important how this plays out because this effect, this effect is so cool. And it's kind of like I discovered, but discovered it by accident. But you know, I was saying tunnel vision and the titles tunnel vision and all that good stuff. Well, you're about to see what the tunnel vision is about. So let's go over here. We're going to turn on shaders. I think that's the right shaders. Zeus renewed. I believe so. And all this stuff is screwy weird because I'm running um, um, replay mod as well. So it's kind of dark right here, right? But it's okay. We're about to get out of the dark. So we're going to round the corner. Whoop. I'm going to push F1. Whoop. And watch. Watch this really, really crazy cool effect. And these shaders are awesome. Now, Mr. BJW had mentioned maybe I should put lights underneath the track. But I don't think so. This is so cool. I'm even going to zoom in. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. It gives us, like, this really crazy... Almost like, almost like we're going, don't go towards the light. Well, too bad, because that's where the minecart's going, right? We're going right towards the light. <laughs> now, I think it has something to do with shaders seeing uh, chunks that are too far away, because the server has us limited, I think, to 12 chunks. So anything beyond that, it won't actually render the chunk. See, as we get closer to this wall, I think it's going to get a little darker. But I'm not quite certain. But also, just like the coloring, the way that the atmosphere works in the nether, I think that the shaders themselves kind of add that, that strange glow effect. Maybe it isn't unloaded chunks. Maybe it's just distance. Distance of air through the nether. But this is going to be today's episode. We have got ourselves a way to finally get back and forth from Sea Haven to base, which is awesome. So that means not only it do you know maybe we can get uh, Zoloy dealt with and all the story-wise shenanigans, but at the same time maybe we can finally start working on our base. We've got a store going in town, so we got ourselves a uh, a source of income. We can start buying materials that we need and uh, and all that good stuff, or hiring people to come help, and we can get our Mega Taiga base started going. So. I am going to go ahead and start planning out my next episode, figure out what I'm going to do and gather up materials for it, figure out maybe how we can get a little train station going here or something. You click that like button if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed, please do so. That would mean a lot to me and it will also mean a lot to you because that means you will get to see videos as they get released. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next episode of Decidedly Vanilla. <laughs>